Hey guys, it's Colton with Wasatch Back Explorer. I'm here today for another gear review slash gift idea. Um, I'm doing this because right now it is about just a little past the middle, uh, excuse me, uh, towards the beginning of November. And I thought there's a lot of people out there looking for cool gift ideas to give those in their family that like the outdoors, that like backpacking, exploring, things like that. And so today I wanted to do a review of the Black Diamond Spot. And the Black Diamond Spot has been a great investment for me. I've carried this now for one season of backpacking, so spring, summer, and a little bit of fall. And this thing is awesome. I don't go home, go anywhere without it, including day trips, backpacking trips, um, if I know I'm going anywhere out in the woods or exploring anywhere, I always bring this. Um, just because it's nice to have light and a good solid light. And Black Diamond has really done a good job at making a good quality light. Um, and one thing that I really enjoy about this is how bright it is. This is 200 lumens. And now they've come out with a new version that I think is... 300. Yes, I think it's 300. I, I can't quite remember, but they're brighter now. They've upped their brightness, and that's awesome. Um, this thing comes with a lot of features, some of which I don't even know how to work. Um, you got just your regular, you know, on, off, and then if you hold it, it goes red, which is nice if you're coming into camp late or you don't want to ruin your night vision, and then you can just It'll dim. See, sometimes. See, there we go. It comes back on. And uh, this is really nice just to have those features. I mean, this thing can do more. Like, Blink can do different things, but there's so many I can't really remember how to use it. But maybe if I tried, I could remember it. One thing that I really enjoy about this and that I use all the time is if you look closely, right there the camera will focus anyways right here you can see there's a battery symbol and a lock symbol and when the battery's low for example when I turn this on if you can kinda see the orange light comes on telling me that my batteries are low then if I turn it off and hold it down while it's off. You'll see that it blinks. That means it's locked. So I can push the button right now and it won't turn on. Then you just hold it again. And it, oops, and then it comes back on. So that's a really nice feature. Um, I know I have a a buddy that I go backpacking with and he uh, forgot to lock his and we got off to camp super late and he went to pull out his headlamp and it was dead so that kind of sucked even though his headlamp had the ability to lock it didn't lock or he forgot to and so anytime I throw this in my backpack I always make sure it's locked and I've never had any problems since um, the thing takes three AAA batteries, super easy to get to. You just snap that and flip the tab. The elastic band is very, very strong. I've never had a problem with it falling down. Um, it's dimmable, so you can change the brightness on LED, on your LED, as well as your red. Um, but other than that, it's a really simple item. Retail value for this is, um, when I picked it up, uh, it was about $45, somewhere around there. And so they're really inexpensive, but a good quality item to have. The newer ones are a little more expensive, closer to like the $50 range, depending on where you can find them. But like I said, they're a great item to have and just a good little gift that you can get them. Um, and just, just a great gift. It's awesome. Um... One thing I would suggest when you're picking out a headlamp or some sort of light source for your backpacker is take a look at the lumens. 
like I said, this comes in at 200, which is bright, um, but I do have a flashlight that I take with me that's 500 lumens, and for me, I just prefer having a lot of light. So I take this and a flashlight, and I also have a little lantern that I take. Um, so I would like to have the brighter one, but this one does awesome for, for now. And so just take a look at that when you're buying them, and just try and get the brightest one you can. For me, that's my personal preference, but you can make that decision. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I know I, I'm enjoying making these videos, so please like and subscribe, and you know leave comments. Um, I'm trying to get better at this, and so if you guys could just give me tips and pointers on what you'd like to see, I'd love to share it with you guys. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your week or day or whatever it may be, but go out and explore.